I also want to say thank you to those who just took the oath of office with me. I want to say that I look forward to working with each of you on the board this year. I'd like to thank a few people as I begin this journey. No one who ever stands in a place like this gets there on their own power. I'd like to say first thanks to my local and state association counterparts from across Middle Tennessee and their association executives who've made this installation a part of your very, very busy schedule this holiday season. It's a true honor to have you here. Thank you to my broker, Jim Terrell, for installing the leadership team and our board of directors today. Jim Terrell and Jimmy Pilkerton are leaders and mentors each day I cross the threshold of either of our offices. A very special thank you to Marilyn Manka, who helps keep my business running when I'm doing things like this. Without her support, there will be no way I would be here right now. In fact, she had a closing for me at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Marilyn. And I want to thank all my Pilkerton colleagues that are here to support me today. There are a lot of y'all here today. You guys are the very best, and I love our company and all that stands for it. And I also want to say thank you to the past six GNAR presidents. Each of you are uniquely gifted and you share yourselves unselfishly. The time I've spent serving under your leadership have helped me find my place, my voice, and my way to this podium today. Thank you so much. And a very special thank you to Don Klein. Only those who have stood in this place over the last 17 years can fully know the loyalty, support, and passion that literally propels you to prepare this for the role of the GNAR presidency. It's a gift and a blessing. Thank you for investing in me. I have a very special table here today. My family is in attendance. Uh, my mom and dad, Ray and Mary Stone, are here from Clarksville, along with our good friend, Bonnie McLaren, my mother-in-law, Laura Cavanaugh, and my daughter, Catherine, and my son, Dawson, who got to skip school today. Awesome. Uh, and my, and last but always first in my mind, my wonderfully marvelous wife, Laura, who's allowed me to take this role on and always keeps our home fires burning. <laughs> now let's talk about why GNAR's future is so bright. I want to start with a look back before we look forward. It's no surprise to anyone the association has been around for a long time. The Greater National Association of Realtors was founded in 1891. In 2011, we celebrated 120 years of operation and 100 years of being affiliated with the National Association of Realtors. Today, we're going to take a brief look back and an exciting look ahead. The look back is going to remind us of how GNAR has been committed to relevance. We faced and successfully addressed key issues and opportunities in the past. The look ahead is going to help us see how we can remain committed to relevance by using the same visionary leadership approach we've used in the past to create a more vibrant future for our association. There's a line in a video that I really like. The line says this, it's a place where the future is knocking at the door, but the past always had a seat at the table. That should be true of GNAR, and I believe that it is. We honor those who have provided leadership that has made GNAR what it is today, and we continue gaining from their experience. The best way to honor that is to not just maintain the status quo, but use their experience and our energy to build on the foundation they created and continue to move the association forward. GNAR does have a very strong foundation. Financially, even through the difficult economic times of the past few years, we always ended our year in the black. Sometimes that meant making hard choices, but we made them and remained healthy through those challenges. We currently have nearly $1 million in reserves and a progressive budget to move us forward through 2014. Another key part of our solid foundation is that we have a strong leadership team. That involves our officers, our directors, our committee chairs, and our staff. We work together, guided by a clear strategic plan, and blend our unique gifts and experiences to accomplish the initiatives that we know are important. Our strong foundation includes and values key relationships. Organizationally, we have active relationships with other associations like the National Mortgage Bankers, the Home Builders Association of Middle Tennessee, NAR, TAR, TREK, Habitat for Humanity of Greater Nashville, and a variety of chambers of commerce, and many, many more. GNAR leaders have personal relationships with area leaders, including local, state, and national elected officials, economic development leaders, media, and others who influence public policy and community issues. All that foundation only matters if we remain committed to using our experience and our influence to be relevant to our members and our community. 
There are several areas where that is especially important going into next year. We're committed to relevance and professional development. We are excited to have the 2014 GNAR Education Catalog here for you today. We're thrilled to announce, as has been said before, that a digital version is available online to make access to this information even easier. This will be the last printed copy we will provide moving forward. Now, in addition to the ongoing continued education courses we provide, both on-site and online, there are some new approaches being included. Monthly First Friday sessions will be an hour or so of interactive information and discussion of topics of value to you. There will be more panel discussions and other meetings designed to provide information on everything from healthcare to finances and from public education to social media. Watch for regular announcements of these upcoming sessions. We're also committed to relevance and addressing important issues. GNAR has built a network of relationships in the community that help us address key issues. That involves elected officials, media, and other leaders. You have seen our regular involvement on issues including affordable housing, public education, and transit. Those points of emphasis will continue. Diversity is another issue which we will more actively be involved. That will be within our association and in the community at large. GNAR has an interesting history with diversity. Most of you know that the real estate profession has not always been friendly to women. This photo of an early GNAR luncheon at the turn of the 20th century shows only men. But thankfully that's changed and the impact of women in the real estate profession has been truly exceptional, particularly here at GNAR. We need to open that door further and make our board of directors and leadership team more reflective of the broad opportunity of participation by anyone and everyone. Just like fair housing laws tell us home ownership and property ownership should be available on the broadest possible basis. We're committed to member relevance and member service. GNAR works hard by creating and supporting one of the leading YPM chapters in the United States. So we are relevant to those entering our profession for the first time. We continue refining our committee structure to have only the most important and necessary committees and committee meetings. We want members' time and focus, energy, and efforts on the right initiatives without overburdening anyone. That means we all need to participate, including taking advantage of the opportunity to serve and volunteer for a committee even while you're here today. There are sign-up sheets on every table. The membership meetings we have, which fewer than they have been, provide real substance. As an example, I'm excited to announce today, we already know that NAR President Steve Brown will be here for our first meeting in March at the Music City Center, and what he has to share will surely be relevant to all realtors. We're committed to relevance and communication. That means with the public and with our members. For the public, it means reminding them that when considering buying, selling, or leasing property, the only right first step is to contact a realtor. We will continue using both paid and unpaid media to accomplish this. And for communication for members, it means being sure you know about classes, programs, and events, involvement opportunities that we have here at GNAR, which will provide you with uh, information that will help your business. And we want you to know you can be involved in protecting and enhancing your profession every day. GNAR also has some powerful resources to keep us remain relevant. We have a united, energized leadership team. We have exceptional professional staff. We have awesome facilities. We have financial resources and stability, and we have relationships of influence. But what we really need is you. You will determine how relevant GNAR is in the future. By engaging in the purpose and mission, you strengthen our relevance and our influence. And by the same token, we're weakened without you. Your membership is appreciated. Your involvement is needed. Bring your ideas and your energy to us and help make us stronger. Join me in 2014 as we honor the past by creating an even better, more relevant future for our association. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to serving you in 2014.